Hello everybody and welcome to this mini let's play of Osmos. Osmos is uh, an indie game that has, I guess, some, come to some sort of prominence in the past a uh, couple of days with its inclusion in the Humble Indie Bundle 2. So uh, this is not going to be a traditional let's play. It's not going to be. It's not going to show the entire game. Let's put it that way. Uh, I just want to, you know, show off the game a little bit and provide some gameplay footage for people who might be interested in picking it up. So we're going to start on the intro levels here. A little bit of Latin for everybody. Uh, basically, if you've played Spore, it's very similar to uh, the early stages of Spore, where you're like. I think you're a galaxy as opposed to an organism in this one, but your goal is just to eat smaller things so you can become bigger. So here, this is just the tutorial stages where we learn how to, how to move. So what we have to do is actually shoot pieces of ourself off to locomote in a specific direction. And then, much like the, the space shuttle, like firing it's brakes to slow down. We're gonna do the same thing in the other direction. Noodle er, utilize some of Newton's laws here. Stop within the blue circle. Good. So the game controls fantastically, but I think you might be noticing uh, one of the strengths of it right now is that it's actually uh, the soundtrack is absolutely fantastic. I can't say enough good things about the soundtrack. It makes the game. Uh, a really relaxing experience, and I hesitate to say relaxing because things actually do get pretty hectic, and uh, I don't want to say scary, but you know, there is definitely sometimes where you're you're startled playing the game. <clears throat> so now, now that we've learned about propulsion, which is just uh, done via the left mouse click, we're gonna learn a little bit more via these tutorial levels where we actually get a chance to play. So we're gonna move around a little bit. Those red uh, galaxy type deals will kill us if we touch them. So they are bigger than us right now. But our goal is to become the biggest in this entire board. So we're gonna need to cannibalize some of these smaller galaxies and then go after the bigger ones. So this one might be enough to, yeah. So this really opens the door for us. It's a, a big positive feedback loop in Osmos is once you start, once you get beyond a certain size, it becomes a lot easier to get even bigger than that. All right, so we're a little bit more zoomed out now. That means the the map is a little bit bigger, but we can also control the zoom with the up and down arrow keys. So this tutorial level is pretty simple, uh, but a good introduction. And the game does ramp up in difficulty quite quickly. It's always such a, a relaxing experience that, you know, it's, it's just a fun time to play. It reminds me of uh, when Geometry Wars came out, or Geometry Wars Retro Evolved came out for the Xbox Live Arcade, and everyone was talking about, yeah, the game is great, but uh, its main strength is that it looks fantastic. That's, that's the way I feel uh, about this game. So we're going to try to get to that one. Good. Uh, we had to get to that before it absorbed the, the other things, and maybe got bigger, and we, we would have ended up uh, dying... Uh, propelling ourselves to certain doom, let's just put it that way. So, become the biggest is not the only game type. There are other ones that we will get a chance to see just a little bit later. So right now, they're uh, introducing kind of the new physics puzzle that they, they have in the game, where they use utilize orbit, I guess. So the red line you can see, that is my, my orbit path. I'm not sure what the red means, but my guess is that it's probably not good. It probably means I'm headed for that uh, large large body that's pr producing the gravity here, or generating the gravity, I guess I should say, in the, in the strictest sense. So let's zoom out and see what's going on here. Zoom out a little bit more, a little bit more. All right. So again, we're just going to cannibalize things. Notice the... Uh, no, I'm the biggest already. That was fast. Uh, the more you shoot out, the smaller you get. So this can be a, a real problem. I don't want to say pain in the ass because it's a great gameplay mechanic, but it can be a real problem when you're uh, going after something very quickly and suddenly you're smaller than it just at the point of impact. All right. 
right, so this one we have to... Oh, oh! Ah, oh, see? Yeah, that's exactly what happened there. So now we're a tiny... We're so tiny, I'm just gonna kill us right here. Good. Yeah. So let's... Uh, we have to absorb this thing, the repulsor. So we're gonna jet over here to this one, which will hopefully open some doors for us. You have to uh, strike a balance between self-propulsion and just kind of gliding along if you want to uh, if you want to succeed. So is that the repulsor down there? Is that another galaxy? It's just another galaxy. We're gonna get pretty big in this section right here. Yeah, okay. So now where is this repulsor? We'll keep zooming out, zooming out. All right, there it is, all the way up there. So when you have to travel long distances, it's better to glide as much as possible. So this is another game type, not just be the biggest, but uh, we have to absorb this thing, which is repelled from us. And these actually I find a lot more annoying. I shouldn't say annoying, but a lot more difficult. Let's put it that way. Uh, my general strategy, and this may not be the best, I'm still quite new at the game, is to uh, just get as big as possible and then kind of try to stick it in a corner. And you'll notice that uh, as you get bigger, the pieces of yourself that you fire out become bigger as well. And this is kind of cool because later in the game you might find uh, that you're competing with, uh, you're competing in size for something that, or with something that you spit out earlier that has just absorbed uh, a lot of things, cannibalized a lot of matter in the past, uh, you know, ten minutes of gameplay. All right, so I, this it's going to be close whether I can actually consume the galaxy here. I'm trying not... Oh, it's not as close as I thought it was. Alright, and we can get the repulsor. Yeah, good. Alright. Just gotta be opportunistic. Now, this is where I get hung up a little bit. On this one, we have to capture or absorb the... I think we call it a biofile? Oh, it's, oh no, this is the ovarium. Okay. So this, this produces uh, matter that you can absorb. The ovarium does. Uh, I wish they could have picked a less disgusting name than ovarium. It strikes me as kind of like a a room full of ovaries, which is not the most appealing thing to me. That's all right, though. Or like a museum of ovaries. A crematorium of ovaries. A anything with an, or an orium in it. Uh, like, I don't want my ovaries presented in that fashion. Internal ovaries not on display, please. The ovarium is is easy to capture, which is good. Oh, I'm gonna make a break for this one. All right, excellent. So that was a quite a coup that we got there. There's the ovarium over there. We're probably at a sufficient size to chase it down, particularly if we can eat some galaxies along the way. Yeah, this ovarium doesn't stand a chance. Good. Excellent. So the ovarium is easy, but the uh, this one, the biophobe, which. Uh, is kind of like the the repellent, uh, the uh, repeller, but uh, like way way harder to catch. We'll see. All right, that was a bad example. We got to take our time. So the other thing we can do is we can use right click to slow down time, give us uh, you know more time to react, do some more precise movements. But I don't really like this. Uh, it just doesn't really appeal to me. Maybe later in the game, but for now, let's just give this a couple tries, and then I'll then I'll wrap this up. So this game is available for the next uh, few hours. Uh, this is inopportune timing, but yeah, for the next few hours in the Humble Indie Bundle 2, uh, which I highly recommend. A lot of great games in there that I will probably make some more uh, gameplay videos of to show off because I, I really want to try to not promote that. It, it does a good job promoting itself, but. Uh, you know, encourage you to buy it if you're uh, if you're like I was, who was really interested in the humble indie bundle, didn't really know anything about the games. So yeah, this is Osmos. This is not really the the showpiece of the set, but it is. It's great. I've mean, probably the the game I've spent the most time with so far from the the second hum humble indie bundle. Worth noting, uh, if you buy the humble indie bundle and donate more than uh, the average, which is sitting around $7.70 right now, you also get the games from the first Humble Indie Bundle as well, so 
Uh, you can get yourself a copy of World of Goo, Gish, as well as the other games in Humble Indie Bundle 2, like Braid, which is probably the, the most popular title in the second Indie Bundle. Uh, all for about $8, which is uh, an insane price. I mean, I paid $15 for World of Goo and $10 for Braid. So, yeah, you really can't beat the price here. And, you know, the Humble Indie Bundle is also pay what you want. So if you uh, want to be kind of a dick and only donate one cent, you still get a chance to play these awesome games and maybe give the developers some exposure. But I would strongly encourage you, uh, just because you can donate paltry sums, to donate as much as you feel comfortable donating, because uh, this is the kind of thing we want to see more of in the industry. You know, you, can, you could potentially get uh, something like 12 games for the, the price of a, a McDonald's fast food meal, at least a McDonald's fast food meal in, in Canada. So you can't really beat that. But anyway, I'll stop being preachy now and we'll focus on trying to actually catch this uh, biophobe, which is just kind of zipping around now. You need a lot of, of mass to take it down. At least, I think so, because you need a lot of propulsion. Maybe if I can trap it right here and get in a good spot. The problem is it's, it's so small, so it's incredibly maneuverable. Uh, but I've kind of got it stuck in the corner here. Maybe, maybe. Oh, so close. All right, let's chase it down. This is actually the closest I've gotten to defeating it or absorbing it, but now it's so fast that it's going to be hard to to catch it. I should have capitalized on that, that last opportunity. All right, here we go, here we go. Ooh, excellent. All right, well, with that, I'm going to wrap up this uh, yeah. relatively brief look at Osmos. Uh, highly recommended, particularly if you can manage to get a copy of the Humble Indie Bundle. Uh, the second Humble Indie Bundle, anyway. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.